How's it going you guys? So this is going to be my first attempt at using the real-time screen recorder tool that I've never used in my life that I've been wanting to use for quite some time. This is my very first time attempting to make a legit video with it, so bear with me. This is going to be a vegan critique video, but really this guy is actually uh, on the carnivore diet now, as far as I can see on his YouTube channel. Uh, his name is the, the Health Cowboy. Um, and uh, clearly, at least in his vegan days, I mean, the guy hasn't really researched the things that he's, I don't know where he gets his information from. Uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I actually uh, left comments down on this particular video explaining to him um, the extreme lack of logic behind what he's saying and the ridiculousness of what he's saying. And uh, this was about a year ago, I think, maybe less than that. And since then, he's actually gone carnivore. But at this time, he was a vegan. Uh, so let me just show you all the video, first of all. It's about protein. And uh, even most of the, the most uh, le like legitimately militant vegans don't say this ridiculous nonsense except for the raw vegans who think that the human body is electric or some nonsense. So here we go, check it out. Hello, I'm the Health Cowboy and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about skip the protein step. So you go out there and you get you some meat chicken, beef, fish, whatever, <laughs> complex protein. Complex protein. Your body has to break it down into amino acids yes. to even utilize All it. proteins. All proteins. So why would you even do that? Because every single food you eat. Why not just eat? Works that way. Plants. Because plants like are complex proteins them. too. And be done with it. You don't have to kill animals to... So just eat plants and be done with it because somehow plants have simple proteins and meat has complex proteins. Where the fuck did this guy get his biology degree? <laughs> he didn't get a biology degree. He's never, he's, he's never researched biology. Uh, this is the typical misinformation that is spread among... Um, just ridiculous vegan meme groups on Instagram, like usually. It, it's the, um, the conspiracy theory, vegan, electrical, Dr. CB worshippers. Um, the human body is electrical. There's a such, there's, there's complex and simple proteins and plants have, di like the protein I get in, in, um, in broccoli is simple protein and it's easier to digest by the body meat is a complex protein like I, I don't know where where he's getting this from I, I, I'd love to know survive to thrive we're all on this planet together so let's uh, look at that look he's giving us let's not kill each other eat more plants go vegan he looks so proud when he said Thanks. that right? see you later Catch you in the next video. <laughs> okay. So I did leave a comment uh, down in, in the bottom of his video. And I explained to him why that's a load of nonsense. Let's see if I can scroll down and, and find my comment. So essentially, uh, all proteins are bound to... Um, they're essentially larger peptides and when you digest protein from broccoli from meat and all of these things They start off as well technically they're bound to an entire food object and then they're broken down into larger peptides and they're introduced in the body as larger peptides and they're broken down into smaller peptides first and then these smaller peptides are broken down into amino acids and then these amino acids are absorbed and metabolized through different pathways, depending on the amino acid we're talking about. 
uh, for various functions, you know, tryptophan turns into serotonin, and uh, tyrosine turns into dopamine, you know, and the list goes on. And then, of course, uh, byproducts like nitrogen, and then um, ure urea break down, and then it's excreted through the urine. And those are byproducts of byproducts of protein. <laughs> and um, all you know, plants they have the same larger peptides as animals. And so I told him that. And this is five months ago. This is a funny thing. All protein. Uh, are just amino acids bound together in a complex protein, a large pep, larger peptides, including plant proteins. And I was, I was, I don't know how I found this guy's channel. <laughs> he only has like 20 subscribers. I asked him, where on the earth did you get this idea from? Please link me the source, because I want to know, like, what the, f where did you hear this nonsense? And I said, please, please link me the source. Please link me the source. There's plenty of doctors that teach this concept, he says. <laughs> okay, so he got it from a, a, an authority of some kind. This is a, he just believes everything he hears from these guys. And this is typical. You kind of have to just uh, believe things you hear for face value without researching them to get caught up in this type of nonsense. Dr. Robert Morse. Okay, uh, that guy, last time I checked for the years, I used to watch him when I was vegan, is fat. <laughs> uh, Dr. Robert Cassier is not vegan. Uh, he actually, well, he was eating eggs and raw milk um, back when I was watching him. But uh, he's super lean. Uh, lots of detox type of talk with this guy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And Dr. CB. Um, nothing against any of these guys except for Dr. Morse, obviously. Who encouraged Tim Sheaf to go on like a great fast and really hurt a lot of people's health. Um, I've been hearing this concept most of my life, he says, that there's complex proteins in meat. It hasn't linked me any science or anything like that. Uh, completely flies in the face of all biology and, and, and the fact that this guy's eating meat now is even funnier and this is just five months ago and he's, he's just getting all this rent. You see, you see, you guys, you've got to understand the vast majority of people on this planet and the people in the comment section in YouTube, they're people like this who just believe whatever they hear from whatever guru they happen to be addicted to at the time. And they don't actually uh, look deeper into it to try to figure out what it is for their own. You ask them, oh, hey, like, where, where did you get this idea that saturated fat uh, causes heart disease. And they say, oh, did you read the China study? And, and it's like, did you read the China study? Because usually these people didn't, but they just say that because they assume the China study has some groundbreaking information that I haven't heard before. Newsflash, I've actually read the China study and I've read every single study um, that was referenced in the China study. Uh, mainly research done by um, Colin Campbell himself. So, not to mention plant foods digest much more quickly Okay, plant foods do not digest faster than animal products. Uh, plant foods are entirely digested by bacteria in the intestine. It does not use less energy on digestion. Um, if, if what you mean is, you know, uh, if you, when any, anytime you, you introduce a new plant food into your, uh, your intestine, you consume a new plant food you haven't eaten before, uh, gut bacteria starts to grow in the intestine and its entire purpose is just to digest that plant food. Animal foods on the other hand are um, anywhere from 40 to 75 percent digested in the stomach alone. They are basically turned into mush, they're turned into liquid and then um, various nutrients from that liquid can be uh, absorbed through the large intestine but but uh, if you think about this you know, this is, this is also why people who have Crohn's disease and intestinal issues, ulcerative colitis, you know, the list goes on, diverticulitis, diverticulosis, pretty much precursor to diverticulitis, they all get better when they eat a more animal protein dominant diet because their intestine is not going to have to work hard to ferment the fiber, to ferment the, uh, the plant food and turn it into energy. We can't even digest cellulose. Um, and, and, you know, animal products, like especially red meat, 
is complete. Well, all animal products, essentially, uh, with the exception of you know lactose from dairy, is entirely digested by the stomach acid. It's in pepsin, and then it's turned into mush, and then it's turned into um, various isolated nutrients. Um, and so it's easier for them. Oh. And what's interesting, this documentary called Game Changers, I, I still haven't I still haven't even like heard of it, let alone looked it up. However, I do have the book by Dave Asprey called Game Changers, uh, but maybe I should look this up. So anyway, um, I continue to debunk this guy. Sorry, man, but it sounds like you're simply repeating things you've heard without researching into the mechanisms of human physiology. Seriously, it's basic, it's basic biology, it's basic physiology, it's basic nutrition. <laughs> like oh like simple proteins right um, you know both animal protein plant and animal protein is bound into a complex uh, it's a larger peptide and um, so yeah y'all y'all can read these comments back and forth if you really want to and the funny thing is uh, John Rose and Marcus Rothkrantz like that Marcus guy him and his wife and, and by the way, I used to love watching his videos when I was vegan. Um, these, guys, these guys have plastic surgery. His wife has fake breasts, you know, like hardcore. You could totally tell. And uh, this guy has fake hair too, by the way, which I guess I should get myself a wig too, right? And John, Ro John Rose is crazy. Um, but that's my opinion, obviously. <laughs> um, Research digestion times of foods. Okay. Dr. Morse admits to cheating a lot. Yeah, he's fat. <laughs> like, most people who eat the raw vegan great fasting diet that uh, Robert Morse recommends, they're stick figure anorexic looking motherfuckers. So, uh, I would hope that he admits to cheating. It's pretty obvious. And the same thing goes for uh, the ketogenic diet or uh, ketogenic guru, um, what's his name, Jimmy Moore. Uh, I would really love to read his books, The Keto Cure and Keto Clarity, but it's hard for me to take them seriously. And I feel like Jimmy Moore gives keto a bad name. Uh, nothing against Jimmy Moore, but goddamn, if you're actually eating a, a keto diet, you will definitely start to look like a superhuman, um, you know, superhuman bulging muscle stark direction looking person like that's what keto diets do to you carnivore diets too you just are bulging with muscles uh, and the raw vegan diet and the shit that dr. Morse recommends uh, make you look anorexic okay and that's what most people turn to carnivorism from raw veganism one extreme to another is because it, it creates anorexia and so uh, anyway, yeah, we went back and forth with this and it's just, it's just retarded. Now, crazy thing is this guy is net vitamin G. I wonder what that is. Vitamin G. I'll have to, it's, an, it's probably another name for something else. So this guy now eats a, a raw meat diet after like, what the hell, bro? I thought that I thought the animal products were complex proteins and you should go vegan. You said that five months ago, eating raw meat and kefir. I thought veganism was like the best thing ever. So after this video, if he sees it, which I don't want to give this guy publicity, but uh, I needed an easy first video. <laughs> so <laughs> um, let's see, where's another? Okay, now friend after friend dead by a medical system. I could totally empathize with you on that. Um, you know, the, med the modern medical system is not perfect. It's not good. I have a lot of problems with it. But eat what Homo sapiens are designed to eat. So I mean, yeah, clearly I've watched a couple of his videos because I'm very interested at the misinformation. Like, how do people get caught up in this? Hey, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Hello. I'm Health Cowboy. I'm uh, Wolfgang. <laughs> Today I want to talk about simple solution to health. Okay, simple solution to health. Let's listen to him. What is it? People think health is such a difficult 
issue and they mess up your microphone there. Take a big deal out of it. All you got to do is to eat what the Homo sapien was designed to eat. Species is designed to eat. And he looks like he's like, yeah, it's just obvious, it's man. Really that simple. How, it's that simple. How do Look you know? Look at monkeys. Look at gorillas. Look at monkeys and gorillas. Look at monkeys and gorillas. The logic of this raw vegan nonsense. And this guy is now. He, this is just insane. It's funny. Uh, gorillas. Yeah, let's look at fucking gorillas and chimpanzees. Okay? They have set the cellulase enzyme. They can actually turn cellulose into fuel, into, into carbohydrates and glucose. We cannot. We can't. We, we, cellulose is not usable energy or usable calories at all. We can't. I would love to see you live on wild leaves. Okay? Um, this is just silly. They are ten times stronger than humans. Okay, gorillas are ten times stronger than humans. <laughs> so we should eat what gorillas eat. Too bad we can't turn... And they, the majority of their diet is tree bark and, and leaves and vegetation of that nature. Sticks and stems. I would love to see you try eating sticks and stems and tree bark. And I've heard this from a lot, especially these raw vegans. I've heard, I hear this from a lot of very misinformed people. And this is this just sounds so so fucking hilarious. I remember showing my girlfriend these videos. I was like, oh, oh my god. And yet, do you see them eating poutine? <laughs> oh, no, I don't think so. They're just <laughs> they're what they're supposed to eat. Oh shit! And if you compare really? our anatomy, right? Look how certain he looks. To a monkey anatomy or primates right. anatomy. Cellulose or cellulose. I mean down to the length of our intestine. It's exactly identical. Wow. So why would you think you're supposed to be eating meat? We aren't carnivores. Why are you, why are you eating meat now? The only carnivores on the planet are cats. Really? And they sleep really? 20 hours a day. Really? The only carnivores on the planet are cats? Are you sure about that? I think the Komodo dragon, the, is it the Komodo dragon, uh, is a carnivore? There's carnivorous fish, a shark, a shark is a fucking carnivore, a dogs, wild wolves are carnivores, I think there's species of bears, jaguars, I think I guess that they're cats. Sharks. Are they cats? What the fuck? What the fuck? People, they get a camera and they start spewing out nonsense. You guys, you have to research because people you watch may not be researching like this guy. Can you imagine if this guy had more than what, 26 subscribers? Oh my god. Is that what you want? Go ahead and eat me. Thank you. I, I do every day. It's all I eat. It's just killing you. Is it killing me? I don't get why people can't get that. It's like... Wow. I know we were ingrained as we were raised with eating meat. Anti-meat. Okay. Anti-meat, huh? What I eat for lunch as a raw carnivore. Eating raw meat and kefir. Oh my god, you guys. I sound. Somebody asked me to eat raw meat on video. <laughs> what the fuck? Here's the video. Oh god. Here. This is dogma at its finest, you guys. So this is gonna be vegan games in like a year. From the farm. From the farm. Blah blah blah. Let's see if we can find the the raw meat now. I don't want to waste y'all's time here. Man, that's good. Made some steak tartare, so I got raw meat and wow, this guy totally is gonna like delete his old videos. Raw eggs. Oh god. <laughs> what the? <laughs> like delicious food on earth. Raw meat, raw eggs, raw kefir. But but aren't we supposed to be eating what Homo sapiens are designed to eat, like gorillas? The title of the video: Eat what Homo sapiens are designed to eat to be healthy. Uh, and he's telling you to eat like a fucking gorilla. And he's telling you that meat is horrible for you. I, and now, boom, steak tartare, raw eggs, raw steak. Yeah, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. Like, this flip-flopping where people are, like, so convinced that they're right, and then they're spewing out nonsense that doesn't even make sense. This is scary to me. This is this is what I have to I have to face the reality every single day that there's people like this. And I suppose, you know, I guess I've done a lot I have done a lot I've done every single diet under the sun. Um, for the most part. I've done Mediterranean, which is you know, I've done paleo, I've done um, the vertical diet, um, and I was vegan for one entire year, and I was raw vegan for two months. Uh, however, in those videos, I never said, this is the way to do it. I never said, homo sapiens are designed to eat this way. Well, besides, you know, my ketogenic videos and stuff as a recent, but you can go back, you know, to when I was vegan, 2014, 2015. And um, the only videos I put on private was like my one about the starch solution being great and stuff like that. Uh, because I developed horrible intestinal issues on that diet and it made me ultimately realize that I was intolerant to grains. Long story short, my point is I, I, I even had a video from that time where I said, you know, basically the, the secrets of, of chi, like 10 top secrets for godlike energy or something like that. And I said, you know, uh, get your nutrition on point. And I, and I said, you can either do a high carb, low fat vegan diet or you can do the opposite, which is like a uh, paleo, an autoimmune paleo diet. Um, and so I was not dogmatic at all telling people you should do this and only this. Uh, not in, in regards to like nutritional dogma, but I will tell people the benefits and if I'm feeling really good about it and really confident about what I'm saying, then I'll, I'll tell you, hey, this is, this is great stuff. You should try it. Um, but this whole thing, especially like, I don't remember ever telling people, yeah, man, like plants are simple proteins and meat is complex protein. You know, eat what homo sapiens are designed to eat, like the gorillas, you know, they're big and strong and they can digest cellulose. You know, the, look at the human anatomy. It cannot digest cellulose, but you should still eat uh, just like a gorilla, which is diet is like 75% cellulose. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm glad that this guy's eating meat now. Uh, <laughs> I, I hate to talk down on people, but this this is not just, it's not him, it's not a personal thing. This is a mindset, this is an approach that a shit ton of people take. Um, lots and lots of people, they spew nonsense, they don't know what they're talking about, they don't research, they don't even try to understand the things that they're saying. They don't look it up. They don't read articles, uh, science articles. They don't. They don't read uh, basic biology. They don't even read the top. Like I'm sure he didn't read the top vegan doctors of their time. I doubt that. In I. I don't think Michael Greger is going to tell you. Oh, like you know, brown rice has simple protein and meat has. It, like out of all the crazy things vegan doctors say, these are not. These are not one. You know, one of them. It's because people listen to. The wrong people. They they like the most. Like people are attracted to that extremism. Like oh my god. Like Dr. Morse told me to eat nothing but grapes. Mind equals blown. Now I'm gonna eat nothing but grapes and end up like Tim Sheaf. You know. Or like oh spinach. He tells me. You know eat nothing but raw meat. Eat some eat some some rotten some rotten high meat. Drink animal blood. Ooh, that's extreme. Like whoa man. Mind blown. And now you feel enlightened and you go and you tell the people like, oh my God, this is the way you've got to do it. And it's like the craziest thing ever. And then it turns out it was wrong. You start to suffer and then you flip flop and change to another extreme, another extreme. Guys, you guys, you have to be very skeptical about everything, especially about things that I say. And this is the very, this is probably, this is a great first, first video like this. This is very important. So uh, I think I've said everything I need to say. Um, let me know if you guys like this new format, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. How do I stop recording?